Hey guys, I thought I would do a little video, just a small video, just a talking video. Um, I'm just folding some laundry just because I have to. <laughs> My laundry is behind a little. Um, I want to talk about something that I never, ever, ever, hardly ever talk about. Um, and that's um, MS and fibromyalgia. I was diagnosed with MS in 2009. Had a really, really bad, bad relapse. And I uh, was in the hospital for a few days and uh, we were in college in Tennessee. Actually moved to Michigan to pastor our, our first church. And um, I left with no insurance, no doctors, no information, no knowledge about MS. And I uh, was just told that I was, they thought I had MS. And it was a very, very, very rough few years. Looking back on it, I think that the hardest part was going from like having my normal strength to not having any strength at all and battling extreme fatigue. And if you're not familiar with real fatigue, um, I used to ask people, when I say fatigue, to you, does that mean, you know, I've had a long day at work and I'm tired? And they said yes. And I'm like, it's so much, so much different than that. It's literally a weakness um, that is almost paralyzing. Um, so anyway, for a few years, I really, really battled it bad. And, um, uh, it was pretty bad. And then I got pregnant in 2016. Uh, I would say like 2009 to like 2013, 14, it was really bad. And then, um, I, I don't know if it, if it wasn't as bad or if I just learned to cope. I was thinking about this in the car the other day because the reason I'm doing this video is this week I've had a little bit more of a rough week. Um, Monday I was super, super fatigued. I couldn't really do much Monday. And then Tuesday I was a little bit better but not too much. Yesterday I felt better and I worked all day and then we had church last night uh, and then I started feeling fatigued last night so, and then I'm feeling it today. So there's a, the reason I'm talking about this is because I was thinking about this in the car and I was like, is it that I'm better or is it that I've learned to cope? Like my norms have changed. So therefore my norms is to feel fatigue in my body and I've learned to maneuver through it. To where when I first got sick, I was like, oh my gosh, what has happened to me? I'm dying. Like it felt like that. Um, but I've learned, which I do know it's not as bad as it used to be, obviously. So I, I, I do think also that I've learned to cope with it. Um, there are still days that I can't really do anything, not very often, but there's, there's two levels of fatigue. There's fatigue that you can push through. I, you know, I would rather stay in bed today and not do anything, but I know I can't. I have a toddler and I have things I need to do, um, things I need to take care of, go and take care of. So you push through it. And then there's times you can't push through it. You're like, I just, I can't do anything today. And so you just lay around. So there's a couple different levels. But anyway, going back to what I said, it was really bad for a few years. And then for a couple of years, it was better, but was tolerable, but not great. And then I got pregnant in 2016. And when you're pregnant, MS goes into remission. And so um, ever since I've been pregnant and then had the baby, I've really not battled it near as much. I still get tired. I still have to pace myself. I still have to kind of watch myself and not overdo it, but I'm, my threshold is so much higher now than it was before I got pregnant. And so I still have days, I'm having, I'm having a few days here where I'm kind of battling it. But um, anyway, I just kind of want to talk about it for a little bit because I, I, you know, Sean's always telling me to talk about it and I don't like to talk about it because I don't like to give my <laughs> sickness any glory because it doesn't control me. Um, you know, I've learned to maneuver through it, but, but I do want to talk about it because maybe there are some moms out there that have young children and you have to deal with some kind of chronic sickness. And so, um, I kind of wanted to just chit chat for just a second about it. My head is fatigued and that is hard to describe. It's like, it's almost like you're, um, 
um, foggy and lightheaded almost sometimes. And, um, and I'm just, I'm really give out today. And so, but I've got things I need to do. So this is one of those days that I can push through it. Monday, I couldn't have pushed through it. I just needed to lay around all day. Um, but today I've got things I need to do, so I will push through it. Um, and then I've got time. So what will happen is me and Harrison will go out and do what I need to do. And then we will come back and we'll take a nap. Um, and then hopefully tomorrow will be better. And that's just the way it is. That's just the ebb and flow of having a chronic fatigue issue um, like MS or for you it could be chronic fatigue syndrome it could be another autoimmune disease um, that's just what you do <laughs> you don't just sit around unless you have to and some days you do have to so I just kind of wanted to encourage um, and maybe just touch base with some moms out there um, or maybe not even moms but um, you know I'm not I'm, I feel like I'm still a relatively young woman <laughs> I'm 44 and so I just feel like uh, I have a lot of living to do, and I just kind of want to connect with some of you. I don't like to talk about this a lot um, on social media, but I kind of felt like today, since I was kind of having a bad day, I would just talk about it. So um, that's what we're doing. I just folded a few clothes and I'm gonna get a little man ready, and we are going to run some errands. Um, we've got some people um, that we're gonna deliver Christmas presents to, and we're gonna do some shopping and uh, get some Christmas presents to some people from our church. So that's just what needs to happen. It's what's going to happen. So hopefully I have the strength to make it through um, for a few hours, and then we'll come back, and me and him will rest this afternoon. All right, let's see what this day <clears throat> brings. Bring it on. So we've got him loaded in the car and we are heading out. Um, I'm going to stop down here and check the mail real quick. I sent out some Christmas cards. I'm see if I've got some Christmas cards, even though I have a few more I need to send out. They're going to get there right before Christmas. But I'm tired. And when I say I'm tired, um, it's not just like, oh, I'm sleepy, I didn't, you know, sleep well or whatever. It is much different than that. This is the real me. <laughs> this is a very real raw vlog, so if it's not your cup of tea, uh, I'm sorry. If you've never heard of the spoon theory and you, and you battle any kind of fatigue or chronic fatigue or illness, look up the spoon theory. It's really, really cool because what it basically says is you get, um, I'm going to make a go for it. You get so many spoons a day when you get up, you get so many spoons a day and everything that you do takes spoons. And so, um, people that don't have to deal with it don't understand, but, um, everything you do takes energy spoons and so it's the best way to describe it to people sometimes so say you get so many spoons a day and once those spoons are gone you're done so like getting dressed might take a spoon me walking back into the house getting those cards walking back out and getting in the car might have took a spoon and so that's the best way to describe it is the spoon theory it's really a cool um cool analogy so now we're back on the road <laughs> 
also decided not to go to Walmart because I can get gift cards at King Supers, which is one of our grocery stores here. So I'm gonna stop at King Supers instead. My favorite things about parking in a handicapped spot um, sometimes it's hard to find one but days like this I need it one of my favorite things is when you're judged by old people older couple next to us and you know I was judged because I look young and I have a kid and I look like I got it all together so if you don't if you're not old or look have oxygen people judge you feel like this guilt I shouldn't but when I come back there was a guy waiting on a car and it was just good timing and he was nice it was, you know what I think I'm supposed to go this way so it was good timing and and he was nice but I was like he could barely walk and he had a walker or a cane and I was like they look at me and they think she doesn't really need it just tricks my mind plays I guess but I feel like people just judge you airplane he's got fruit snacks that are shaped like cars and airplanes and trains and um, anyway just feel so judged I feel like people judge you when you ride that and then when you get off like if you walk normal I feel like I almost feel pressured to walk with like a limp or like it's a struggle because I feel like they're watching you when you get off and it's like if you don't have trouble walking then why are you on that I know it's all in my head but I still go through this every single time I get off of a motorized cart at Walmart or a grocery store and I don't know why this is blurry a little better so I don't know the struggle is real but anyway, all right, let's go pick these dinners up and then let's go drop everything off. Harrison's super tired. He was laying on my shoulder in, in King Supers, um, just like laying against my neck. He's really tired. So hopefully he'll hold out and not go to sleep in the car. And that way we, when we get home, we both can go to sleep. <laughs> oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better watch out. You better not go. He knows when you are sleeping. He knows when you're awake. Boing. He knows when you've been bad, bad or good. <clears throat> good. So be good for goodness sake. Okay, we have turkey dinners, turkey dinner in the back, and just off the church, got what I needed to get, and uh, now we're headed to drop it off. Okay, so got all that stuff delivered, we're headed home, and we're going to come take a nap, if he makes it home, hopefully he don't fall asleep. I was headed home and now I'm headed back to the church.
church because Sean called and we've got um, a sizable donation for a, a family in our church and they're going to be there tonight so I got to take it back and leave it there at the church so that he can get it tonight. So now I got to go all the way back to the church which is not a long ways, it's like 10 minutes back. And then I guess we're going home. I'm so tired. My tooth is hurting so bad. So we're, we're getting closer to home. It's like 3.30. So it'll be four o'clock before we get in bed, but I've got to have a nap and he's tired too. So we'll take like a two hour nap. BP? Or did I am? Okay. I don't know what you're saying. You want to pee your push a uh, piece of your banana? Yeah? And oh, uh, mama, I, yeah, I made you nana and mama made you some fresh milk. Oh, 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 okay. We need to clean up your toys. What? Yeah? sure that I'm gonna finish this video I'm not really sure I'm gonna even publish it because <laughs> I really haven't felt like taking a lot of time and put a lot of energy into my clips and I've just rambled a lot today but I kind of wanted to just show you um, how a day looks when I'm not feeling that good and this is a day that I can push through some days I can't push through obviously but today I was able to push through I'm just finishing up dinner I've got biscuits and bacon Sean's about 10 minutes away he's been working tonight and then I'm just making some, um, got my stuff out to make um, gravy. And so anyway, if this was a video that interests you, maybe you have um, a chronic illness or a chronic fatigue or something that you battle, just give me a big thumbs up. It helps me out. Uh, leave a comment below and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye.